Hey everyone, this is Valentin from musicgreatness.com and in today's lesson, we are going to learn Billie Jean by Michael Jackson. And it sounds just like this. Okay, so in this first part, we are going to learn the introduction and the verse of the song. We are in the key of F sharp minor. So we have C sharp, F sharp and G sharp. Here is the chord progression. We start by playing this F sharp minor chord, just like this. So we have an F sharp on the bass and a, C sharp, F sharp on the right hand. Then we'll play this G sharp minor over F sharp. So we keep the left hand and the right hand will play B, D sharp, G sharp. Then again we keep the left hand and we'll play this F sharp minor 7 chord. So we have C sharp, E and A on the right. We'll end this chord progression on this B minor 7 chord. Here we'll play a B on the left hand and on the right hand we'll play A, B with the thumb, D and F sharp. You could also use this fingering, 1, 2, 3, 5. Very nice, guys. Let's repeat all the chords together. So we start playing this F sharp minor. So here we are on the first degree. Then we go to the second degree, playing this G sharp minor over F sharp. We come back to the first, playing this F sharp minor seven. And we'll end the progression on this B minor seven, the fourth degree of the scale. Very nice. All right, now let's break down the introduction. The first thing we have to learn is this pattern. Okay, so we'll play F sharp, C sharp, E, F sharp, E, C sharp, B, C sharp. Once again, F sharp, C sharp, E, F sharp, E, C sharp, B, C sharp. Very nice. We'll repeat this eight times. In the demo, I was playing it four times for practical reasons. So let's play it eight times together. Three, four, and one, two, three, four, second time, one, two, three, time, third time, one, two, three, four, fourth, fifth, keep going, one more time, Very nice. To add the right hand that comes after, you really need 
to play this a lot. So then you'll be able to play it faster. And without thinking about it. So in the introduction, we play it eight times. Then comes the right hand with the chords that we've seen earlier. So we have this rhythm. Let's try the right hand alone for now. Slower. Three. Four and one, two and three, four, one, two and three, four again, one, two and three, four and one, two and three, four. Very nice. Now, to end this introduction, we just need to play this right hand pattern twice. So it will sound just like this three, four. Very nice. And that's all for the introduction. Now let's break down the verse. The verse starts the same way the introduction just finished. So we'll play the right hand pattern twice. Three, four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four again. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Very nice. Then from here, we'll play this new pattern on the left hand. Which is actually the same as the first one, but just transpose higher. So we'll play B, F sharp, A, B, A, F sharp, B, F sharp. Let's play it twice together. Three, four. One more. Very nice. Over this left hand, we'll play the right hand like this. And. So we are playing the B minor 7 chord. The rhythm goes like this. Three, four. One, two, and three, four. Again, one, two, and three, four. Very nice. Let's now combine the hands together. Three, four. Very good. And then from here, we come back to the first pattern. Here, we'll play the second pattern again, but with a little tweak. So here, I played it loud on purpose because we're going to hold it. The rhythm goes like this. One, two, and three, four. One, two, long, and. You see, the last one is longer. So let's play this part again. Three, four. And then back to the first one. Here, we play it three times. Again. Then we again switch to the second pattern with the long right hand in the end. And back to the first one. into the pre-chorus.
Alright guys, so that's all for the first part of this tutorial. If you want to see more, please head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thank you for watching, and if you've liked the video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. See you in the next lesson.